Good to see you. Okay, welcome back everybody to uh, chapter 27, I believe, of uh, Code Vein here on the road to 100 stars. Uh, as you can see here, um, we are going to send for distress and uh, we're going to be fighting Mido and then we're going to be continuing on into the provisional center. So we're going to be running the scout code with uh, hammer mastery. We're going to be running an alleviated hammer, hellfire hammer, and an alleviated imperial raiment or uh, ivory grace in order to get us directly under the 60 pound mark, 59.6, to make sure that we are quick. So again, we are going for a quick hammer. We're going to rely on Steadfast Strike to do the bulk of our damage uh, if we can go ahead and get an opening. That's why we have increased Gift Speed, Gift Prowess, and a Gift Accelerator. Uh, uh, also paired with um, Eva's uh, communal, or uh, not her communal, her uh, passive that she also gives. So uh, we're going to see how this goes, and uh, hopefully we can uh, get it off here in, in one shot. Or not one shot, but... Uh, a considerable uh, amount of time here okay and the uh, ivory grace has a, a pretty considerable um, a pretty considerable inhibit re resistance there we go okay so 15,000 is garbage <laughs> but uh, because we are um, also quick uh, we should be able to uh, stagger this guy pretty good. And there he goes down. There's another steadfast strike. But we're gonna have to uh, heal up here quite a bit. Okay. Oof. 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 Okay. So, I mean, uh, this is the problem with Mido, is that if you don't uh, kill him in the very beginning stages there, uh, he can be extremely difficult because of uh, his wide, wide, wide sweeping strikes. Um, as, you see, as you can see, though, we have pretty good uh, stagger resistance, or stagger uh, potential for him. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get another person in here. Um, and uh, I'm not trying to rely on the other people it's just uh, with when you run hammers uh, no we've already thought this through long and hard um, when you uh, run hammers you lack the uh, damage of um, instantaneous kind of damage so you have a uh, fairly long longevity built into uh, your weapon and how it strikes and the damage potential that it has however it, it relies heavily on um, a lot of your ability to uh, dodge around and uh, get in the attacks in between his uh, in between his attacks and everything else. Let's say hello to royalty here. Good to see you. It's time to get started. Well, sure is. Okay, let's go ahead and dodge in here. Okay, so we timed that wrong, and let's see, we are a one-shot, and we're all dead in one one go here, <laughs> and I did not time those uh, strikes correctly, so it, that first strike uh, hit during his um, invulnerabilities, or his damage reduction phase, and so we didn't get the 15,000 again. Uh, so because we are alleviated everything, we have uh, significantly reduced damage, but Mido is weak to crush, so uh, that's also helping us. Now uh, we're using a Blow of Madness here, which is a, um, let's see, I believe it's a 25% increase in damage on the next strike. Now uh, fi Flashing Fang is a doubling, so um, if I had a choice, I would go for something like... Uh, uh, instead of uh, Blow of Madness, I would go for Flashing Fang or uh, Bl Bridge to Glory, but since we don't have the ability to get those buffs uh, currently, uh, this is what we have to go with. Thanks. So let's go ahead and get up here with all our stuff. Now we will uh, um, go ahead and get as much 
uh, pieces here together. Now the problem with the uh, alleviated blood veil is that you um, don't have um, oh, dodged right into it. Um, with an alleviated blood veil, you don't have um, any kind of defenses. And since we're using a fire, a fire hammer, um, he's also resisting fire. So we're playing right into uh, a painful, a long painful battle here. Yep. So we're gonna try and get through here with hammers. Um, I don't uh, know how long this will take, but uh, we're gonna try and do it uh, with this uh, setup to have a quick um, dashing with hammers. Now, if we wanted to go for something uh, a different hammer, uh, Crush, we would definitely want to go for the Argent Wolf Hammer, as that has uh, one of the highest damage potentials for hammers in the game. Um, however, right now we're going to be going uh, for this one, so we can be light and dodging around. If we are the Argent Wolf Hammer, uh, we will always be um, a heavy, slow uh, blood code, no matter what we do, because it's such a heavy, heavy weapon. Now, as you see, uh, it really doesn't matter um, what we do uh, as far as um, uh, it doesn't matter what we do as far as defenses are concerned, um, because we have an alleviated uh, blood veil. Our defenses are super low, so it just doesn't matter. See if we can get him knocked down here. Nope. We'll just somehow randomly take damage to this thing. Okay. Let's get some staggers potentially on him here. Oh. Where's the dots? There we go. Okay, we gotta heal up, even though he's a one-shot and it doesn't matter. No. Royalty, please. Please. Thank you. There we go. Whew. <laughs> He said that skill is superior. Well, thank you, Royalty. I owe you this one for sure to uh, get through him in eight minutes with um, with minimal uh, problems here. Uh, so that was Mito. He's the one most unfun fight for me in the entire game. Um, I just, I don't know, I just don't enjoy his fight uh, for anything. Um, he's, he's pretty hard. Um, and also he... Uh, he kind of is cheap with those wide sweeping strikes, so you have to play very patient. Um, I don't know if you've uh, noticed from my play style and how I kind of go about the game. Uh, I like to get in, get out, uh, do a lot of damage, uh, and then continue on. But uh, So he's the antithesis of everything I am and how I play. But uh, that's okay. We, we got through him, and obviously uh, since he is weak to crush, uh, we are using the exact uh, weapon that he's weak to, so that's good for um, going against uh, Mido. Here's the th uh, three DLCs and everything that are here in this room. So, as you see, uh, we got here naturally. So now the uh, now that the these have been picked up, the green dot at the beginning of the uh, level will, uh, or at the back at the temple or the house where we live. Um, Though we will not have um, a green dot there anymore as we've picked up all the DLCs. Okay, so now we're going to be heading into the provisional government outskirts. Now the outskirts are, um, they can be extremely hard or they can be extremely easy. So we're going to go for a kind of uh, middle ground. We will be running an Artemis code. Uh, and you ask, well, why would you be running Artemis in a place where 
you know, it might not be the most effective. Well, since we're continuing on here with the hammers, um, we are going to be running the uh, uh, a kind of a special build that shows off that uh, when you have weapons that scale exceptionally well in uh, drain attacks, you can have kind of a uh, hammer dark hybrid. So this is uh, pretty interesting as it uh, requires um, some a little bit of precision within how the uh, game uh, will allow you to execute some of the attacks. So we're going to be switching to Artemis and we're going to be switching to um, the Intensified Venus Claw as this has a fairly large or fairly high dark scaling uh, and dark uh, base but uh, we're then going to be switching to a uh, drain, uh, devour hammer, uh, a devour hellfire hammer, uh, because this has a pretty high uh, drain rating. And if you'll notice here, out of all the hammers, this is the only one we can use, <laughs> is the hellfire hammer. All the others are uh, xed out. So then we're going to be running um, swift destruction, since we're normal mobility, and uh, we're also going to have uh, hasten up. Now here's the two that uh, blood sucking blades and hunting feast with dra weapon drain rating up and we're going to be adding more drain rating here and uh, you'll see why why this will be interesting and important here in a second we'll go for that and then we'll go for a charge booster um, so when you are a dark mage and you're running around uh, typically what, what will happen Lost is you get into a uh, scenario and uh, you need to use gifts and different things like that and then you you're trying to strike and uh, you're trying to get your i core up fairly Find quick um, so you'll notice there we took a little bit of damage and we we didn't get a whole lot of i core back um, so now this is uh, extremely interesting so your uh, base i core regeneration for uh, weapons is um, 1.9 times whatever the drain rating is so uh, or 1.8 somewhere around there 1.85 somewhere around there so 1.9 here times drain rating so we get about two back on a strike uh, from weapon drain rating up and having a devour then when we add uh, blood sucking blades and hunting feast uh, plus the uh, devour or the drain activator we will be uh, up over three on our weapon drain rating for the hammer here and we will be quick as well now the other interesting thing is that when you do a regular attack it's the 1.9 times multiplier but when you do a heavy charge drain or charge attack it's a four and a half times multiplier so we will be getting about 14 um, I-Core back on one attack um, so we will try and get a good showing here of this Okay, and that's why we brought along the charge booster. Okay, and see here we're at two. And now we're, we hit two guys, so we are at back to full. <laughs> um, back to full i -Core. so... And then we... Go ahead and give ourselves a. Oh. And then we'll get all our, all our I core back. Whoops. I didn't uh, hit the right button there. So as you can see, um, we have a significant I core recovery. So let's. missed him okay so let's get another drain <laughs> and there we're getting a pretty significant i core re recovery um, so that's where this can be uh, exceptional and we have pretty good uh, backstab drain ability there let's pick up the video game since uh, we are doing video games and so uh, this can be a, a great great um, uh, i core recovery strategy as um, a lot of times you don't know uh, what what um, gifts pair with with uh, different options and how they interact with the different uh, abilities of the game 
So this guy's going for us, so we'll go for the cloud on him. Okay, let's get some i -Core back here. <laughs> We're gonna die. Tried to block, but... Now this lady, she's giving us some problems here, because I'm trying to dodge the edge and the gunners that are gonna show up here around the corner. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some health back here. Now this guy... Oh, we can't hit him through the wall there. Now we have pretty bad um, defenses on block, but that's okay because we can uh, make up for that with our uh, regeneration here. Now we're going for the blood grab, as this is the unique of Artemis. Uh, when we dodge an enemy attack, as you see, we're not very good at it, um, we, but we are quick, so we can uh, go ahead and get some I uh, drain some I core from. We'll get a launch on this guy. Now see, the thing is, is that our backstabs, our drains, and our uh, launch attacks, they are not going to be the uh, I-Core regenerators, um, as, uh, well, oh, on Fido here, oh, we can get a, well, if we can, if Eva will let us, okay, uh, we can get all of our i -Core back, oh no. Um, okay, we need to go for, uh, whoops, uh, Venom, uh, okay, yeah, Venom in New Game Enhanced, <laughs> it's just the worst thing, it can kill you, uh, very, very quickly. Okay, so let's go back to Legion Punisher, uh, let's get this going. So, that's how, uh, you can run a, uh, weapon, uh, game. to uh, ensure that that you can get uh, lots of i -Core back quickly and kind of run a uh, mage style. And I'll stop him because we have a strong knockdown with that. We'll get a... Uh... Oh. oh. Gonna miss them. Okay, let's go for a... Uh, Sands of Depravity. What? 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 Oh, the dude in the back poked me in the face. Oh. That was extremely unfortunate. Okay, well, so uh, I would say that uh, I was, you know, trying to be cute with the, da the, da the dashing there. But, uh, I would say that if you are going for a dark mage with this, you can pair up uh, two other gifts here for um, dark because you have a pretty good willpower, pretty good uh, dark rating, and so you can go for uh, this hammer with uh, some charge boosters and uh, drain activators, and you can get tons of i -Core back to uh, match up your... Um, there we go, we got 14 back, and there's 12 back. Because we use 12, or we use 2 on the charge attack, and then we get 14 back, so it's a net of 12. Um, so if we run up here and do a smash on this guy, <laughs> we'll do a smash on this guy. And as you can see, um, if you have enemies that are weak to the knockdown, uh, you can get through pretty much anything pretty quickly. Uh, so let's go for, eh, we're, we're good here. We just need to, uh, dodge, dodge. And again, because we are, um, quick with the hammer here, uh, we can dodge effectively, uh, just like all those great one-handed sword people. Now, because of blood grab there, we drain some i -Core. And since it's uh, relative to what our uh, weapon drain rating is, um, as you can see here, our weapon drain rating is 2.85 right now. Um, so it's fairly significant. You are awfully attentive. 
and since this is a uh, very um, long-ranged damaging um, uh, Sans the Sands of Depravity so if we wanted to we could go for uh, we could put Legion Punisher here in the front and again like I said I was trying to trying to be good uh, putting that up there so we could go fast but hammers are never usually fast um, so we could go for something like execution uh, to give ourselves a close range um, sort of a gift here comes the gunner thanks Eva now we'll kill that uh, person and then we get the lady over here so we'll go for the gunner and we'll get a charge on him get our uh... oh what <laughs> I walked around the corner into the hammer face well repays let's drink some water about 20 minutes hopefully we can get through here <sighs> yeah I'm awake okay let's do this so this is um, how hammers can kind of be effective is that uh, you have to be str really strategic more so than um, other builds in how and when you oops we are yeah we are way way away so let's get some icor back on him so that four and a half times multiplier is extremely useful um, so let's give him an execute Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get some health back here. Now the thing is, is that uh, as, as you have uh, tons and tons of Icor later on, um, it will be good to uh, continuously have some kind of active um, gift that you can run. Uh, I know I'm not giving you an exceptional showing here because of the player skill level, but um, if you have the skill level for it um, to dodge in, dodge out, and do these kinds of uh, attacks. Uh, this can be an exceptionally uh, good um, uh, blood code and build with, with a light hammer. So let's get these going. So let's get a activation on her. And now she's going to try and walk over here and endlessly. Okay missed her. Okay, let's get a drain just so we uh, give ourselves time here and then this will allow us to get a, um, a uh, charge attack. There we go. We got... See, we can hide behind the wall here. Oh, Eva. Okay. Um, and uh, so, so this is how uh, dark mages can uh, go about getting some different weaponry into their arsenal um, as uh, it's pretty hard to incorporate some of these so let's get a charge on her while we can and she's uh, resistant to um, blood so uh, execution is uh, not exactly the ideal for her okay so on, on the doggy here Let's go ahead and uh, get a knockdown, hopefully. And then we could, oh, okay. I was going to say then we could get uh, an attack there. Oop, I think we hit him. Good. Okay. Okay, good. Now on this fine uh, specimen here. Let's get a launch. Good. And then we will get a charge. And then maybe we will get another drain. Okay, that was actually uh, very good. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised. Okay, so let's see. And since we have uh, extreme uh, I-Core usage, is that... Okay, she is down at the end of the hallway. Good. Uh, because we have extreme I-Core usage... Um, uh, oh man, we, it's uh, very good for us that we can get uh, such high I-Core return on a weapon strike. Find something good? 
The only uh, caveat to it is, right, that it's on um, on a uh, charge attack, so that's kind of the the problem you got to watch out for. But we can use some of these great giant uh, attacks that's pretty rare. Uh, because we have pretty good Icor recovery. So we go up here, activate the dog. Not a lot of freedom here. Whoops, wrong one. Maybe we can kill everybody down there. Okay, not that guy. So let's get a charge on him. Oh, get a charge on him. There we go. And then we can get uh, up another gift here. And then let's run up here. Get a charge. There we go. So if you're having a uh, hard time and uh, interest in uh, how to get Icor back as a dark um, as a dark mage kind of build uh, with uh, kind of minimal effort. Uh, this is a great way to go about that. Okay, so let's go for these and these and these. Thanks. Since uh, this lady here can be uh, annoying, to say the least. And we'll knock her down. We'll knock her down again. So uh, it's uh, fairly, fairly useful. Um, that four and a half times multiplier is just too much to ignore, um, fully and completely, uh, as that uh, is one of the highest drain uh, ratings from a um, weapon attack in the game. Uh, it's uh, fairly considerable for uh, what we have going here when we run a hammer. Um, and since we uh, are normal mobility, as soon as we use hasten, we are quick mobility, which is uh, great um, compared to uh, some of the other uh, options that we have. So we're just going to run past here and get the ladder, as I always uh, forget to do. And then I have to redo the entire, the entire thing. Okay, let's back up here, let's get Hasten going, let's get some I-Core back, and a backstab, this should kill. See, we didn't have Hunting Beast up, so our I-Core drain uh, was not up, at, up to the 14 level. Okay, there we go, we got Hunting Feast, let's go get one of these guys. See, normally uh, you want to go for a backstab, whereas now it's not about backstabs, it's about uh, charge attacks in order to get our uh, our uh, I-Core back, since we are a Dark Mage uh, looking to uh, do massive damage. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's uh, a little confused about what to do there. So now we got this monkey. Uh, I hate the monkey. And we'll get a drain on or a charge on him. Oh, okay. And uh, let's get a charge, knock her down, and then get a Sands of Depravity. Oof. Thank you, Eva. She saves our bacon uh, many, 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 many times. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some health up here. Now, uh, Hasten is uh, not active, so we will. Uh, hang out here for a second. Let's get it. Oh. These monkeys. Let's get a charge. There we go. Now that is the problem with the monkeys as they are a very quick enemy. Um, we have to have something that can uh, easily dispatch them. So let's go for a Oh. Oh, uh, so Legion Punisher is good if we can uh, get it off in time and in a correct manner. So let's go for this, and since these guys are sort of weak to Slash, um, these two gifts are fairly good for them, but these guys are exceptionally uh, weak to Pierce, but we don't have any piercing attacks, so again, like I said, you could go for something that uh, would allow you to have a pierce attack 
And we've got execution on this guy. Good. Now let's get a charge. Get some i back. I know, Eva. Oh. Okay. Good. And uh, let's just go ahead and heal. And let's go for a dagger as we uh, can uh, manipulate the AI into thinking that they've got a chance. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> oh, every time. It never gets old. Um, so now, since we have considerable i stocks, we can go for this guy across the way. And then we can uh, go for this and dodge over here. And then, oh, oh well, old world materials, that's good. All right, now uh, we don't want to take uh, any chances here, so we're going to go ahead and heal up. And uh, we'll go for a uh, Sands of Depravity on her, and then we'll go for a Knockdown. And then we will go for a... Oof, thank you, Eva. I was hoping for two Knockdowns, but... Uh, I just timed them wrong. Okay, so we got two heals. And we're good. Okay. Now again, uh, she is uh, resistant to blood, so we can't really go for... Um, oh, good. And we'll get some i back. And then a drain... Uh, a um, launch. And that worked out very well. So uh, this is a great way to, uh, if you had um, maybe different active uh, gifts instead of, you know, like Legion Punisher and different things like that, and you had, uh, I don't know, this is kind of a hybrid chain uh, attack build, but uh, Blood Grab is kind of fun if you can actually dodge, um, because you are constantly dodging with quick mobility with the hammer, and then you're trying to do uh, charge drains in between. So... Instead of going for a backstab, we definitely want to go for a um, a uh, charge attack, get our i back, and then we can cut him down. So that's kind of a, a different interesting way to play a Dark Mage, is that uh, you, your drain rating is not based out of, your, uh, vena, of, out of your blood veil this time, it's based out of your hammer, uh, and as we are a dex on Artemis, uh, the Hellfire Hammer is the only one that we have access to. So I hope that uh, gave you some interest and insight into how to play a Dark Hammer uh, kind of hybrid with uh, charge attacks being your drain rating uh, recovery. So thank you all for joining me. I uh, hope to uh, next time go for something a, a little interesting with the uh, Hellfire Knight, or with the uh, Queen's Knight Reborn. And uh, it has to do with the Lost Heavy Axe. And uh, the blood code will come next time. So stay tuned for that, and uh, we will see you all next time. Thank you a lot.